Hi guys, it's been such a long time since I've done a first of all kind of like day in my life video on YouTube and also do a intro where I'm just sitting down talking to you guys in my room, which is so crazy. I didn't mean to take such a long break from making YouTube videos, but things just happened. So I wanted to catch you up to speed on what's been going on in my life, where I've been, what I've been up to. To start off, why I haven't posted on YouTube in almost three months besides my most recent vlog, which was a travel vlog. And I'll get to that in a second. But pretty much why I haven't been posting on YouTube was because it was summer break and I work a nine to five so I don't get a summer break but my sister who is in college does and my mom who works at a school also does so everyone was home all summer I don't know for those who film videos or like make content can relate but when I know someone is at home just like on the other side of the wall and could hear me talking to myself like filming a video I just get so psyched out and I feel like I just kind of push it off and be like I'll do it when no one's home and then of course with summer everyone's in and out of the house doing activities and I just didn't have like a lot of time to film YouTube videos so me psyching myself out because everyone was home for summer kind of was one of the reasons why I pushed off making like a longer form vlog. Second of all, as you guys know this YouTube channel kind of really started first off as my small business Peach Cream Prince's channel. I started social media almost four years ago now but it was always just for my small business page and creating content for a small business is really different than a like personal public social media page so i feel like i've talked a lot about this on like the channel here with you guys where i like i was in like a very big dilemma where it's like i want to create content that's like outside of my small business and my business peach is such a big part of my life like trust me i'm working on it every day even if i'm not posting about it but there was also a part of me that was like kind of like missing that something where I want to post like other stuff besides my business like I want to post what I do with my friends memories travels and have like a place where I could like look back on that so after all that like back and forth like what should I do in June I finally did it and made my own personal public social media pages and as you could probably see with my youtube channel I'm like slowly transitioning this channel into like my to match my other pages so all my handles are just Katrina with three r's and I have been having so much fun posting on there and honestly it has brought like such a spark back in me for creating content because it's just so fun like I love posting on my business pages but something about just me posting like whatever I want versus like has to surround a certain topic is just so much more freeing on social media and I've been meeting so many new people and it's honestly really fun to just have two different communities like for my business page I'm engaging with like a lot of artists other small businesses and people who just like enjoy my stuff which is so amazing I'm so appreciative for that but on the other hand like having my personal social media pages is like a whole different community with like other girls trying to be content creators I get like very inspired from both of them but just having this new like outlet and community has been amazing pretty much much. People were home, summer, focusing on TikTok, Instagram were some of the big reasons why I've kind of been a little MIA on here. But my goal is to go back into doing more long form content on YouTube because I love YouTube. I grew up watching YouTubers and just being able to make videos and vlogs on here, like how I watched people when I was growing up do, is the most rewarding thing I'll probably ever do with social media. So I want to get back into it here. The most recent video was a Hawaii vlog. I got to go with my boyfriend's family to Kauai for a week and it was one of the most amazing trips I've ever been on. Kauai is such a beautiful place and we saw like a good amount of the island in a week so but I filmed it all because I wanted to just have these memories like saved and I'm so happy I did because I love how the vlog turned out and it's honestly really inspired me to kind of want to like do more traveling and stuff if I'm able to. Traveling was so much fun but the week after coming back from traveling was <laughs> a little bit rough. Last week was pretty much like a catch-up week. I was doing like everything that I had to do for my nine to five. I had to like get myself used to our time change again since we were three hours behind in Hawaii. I've been kind of like not really in my routine the past week just trying to do all this catching up. So today I wanted it to be a very productive reset day. I can't believe it's almost October so I have to decorate for Halloween and fall. My room is looking a little messy so definitely a big cleanup day around the house and maybe just doing like a target run to see if I could get some cute decor as well and I just kind of want to get back into my routine so today is the day. Let's have a productive reset day. I pretty much 
much have been spending the morning doing my nine to five remote job. I work for a medical marketing company. It's remote, which is really good for me trying to do my business on the side and social media now. It's been a, like a really busy time of the year right now. I think it's like before the holidays, there's like a lot going on. Obviously I do prioritize my remote job and I obviously try to get all my stuff done by the end of the day for that first. And then I'll switch over to like business things, social media stuff. But since it's getting towards the end of my work day, I can now switch over to my business stuff and decorating, which is so exciting. I'm just getting ready a little bit because I am gonna go run some errands later today. When we went to Hawaii, I was wearing sunscreen, but clearly not enough because the first week when I came back, my skin was doing so bad. I was breaking out, my skin was so dry. My shoulders are still pretty like the white spots and like peeling not good i guess i didn't realize how much you should be reapplying sunscreen and stuff which is so like silly because it's like of course i feel like whenever i'm by the beach in california like the spf is higher than it was in hawaii but i just don't burn as like fast as i did in hawaii so what i've been doing to help my skin since being super sunburnt is using rose water so i've been using it for my skin and now my skin is finally starting to feel soft again after being very crusty for a week speaking of hawaii it's been pretty much on my mind really rent free this past week because that was my first time in Hawaii and my first time flying on a plane for literally since I was in third grade and it was just so fun. I was honestly really scared to go on the plane at first because I don't know not doing it for a long time and then you hear all the stuff happening with planes sometimes you're like oh my gosh this is scary but it really wasn't bad and honestly like just being in the airport a lot easier to like navigate than I thought it was going to be so that kind of like helped my fear with like traveling and like flying a lot this trip so i'm really glad i got to do it like i said it's been on my head rent free because we saw a lot but also just like relax all week and like swim in oceans and just chill compared to like going back into a routine where you have to work you have to get all the stuff done like it was such a different dynamic and I just miss it so much. I've been showing my friends and family all like the photos we took and stuff that I haven't like posted yet on social media. One of my friends, aka Tina, that you all know if you follow me on TikTok, and she said it would be fun for me to like talk about um, different places and stuff that I recommend if you go to Kauai. And since I did like a lot of research while we were there, and talking to like local people and stuff. I feel like I have a good list of things I'd recommend if you are going to Kauai. In regards to beaches, every side of the island definitely had a different like vibe. And also to note, we went in September. So guides were saying that we were kind of in like the summer to winter transition period of like the island and its weather. So more rain, more like rocky waves. So I can imagine going at different times of the year also impacts this but my favorite beach hands down was Hanalei Beach. It's in Hanalei Bay which is on the north side of the island and that one I just love the most because it was the most swimmable. I love going to the beach but I am honestly a little scared of like the water sometimes and in California like at least like SoCal area like a lot of the beaches are like really harder waves so really good for surfing but for swimming not so much if you're not an experienced ocean swimmer so being able to just like float and like it was honestly like a wave pool so like it was either like very like chill or like a little bit of wave but it was like fun not scary <laughs> and I think just like in Hawaii like the big difference between California beaches is like it being warmer you could like see through the water when like the sun is shining there was like not a lot like on the sand floor if that makes sense like it was pretty much just like sand a couple small rocks and like a little bit of fish and we saw sea turtles there so i feel like all of this adding together was like the perfect experience what you think about when you think of like a swimmable beaches so definitely my top beach there for sure i really liked when we went to um like tunnels beach and like poihu beach those were like a lot more like places where we were able to like snorkel because they had like rocks, more rocks and stuff. And of course for me, who needs a coffee every day, I was very big on trying to find the most local, like good coffee shops that we could try. One that is like really popular like on Instagram and everything, but definitely worth the hype was Java Kai. We stayed in Kappa, which is like east side of the island. And Java Kai was literally maybe a five minute walk from our house. So we went there a couple times. They had a really good looking breakfast, but we just did coffee runs and like little pastries when we went. Always got ice because when it's like warm weather and a little bit humid, an ice drink hit so well. So I did like a lot of their coconut drinks. Levi was more like experimental and tried like a raspberry one, which I had, which was really good. Another coffee shop I really liked, which was called Garden Island Coffee. 
and that one was also close to our house it was more like in the food truck area so that was fun because we got to meet like the owner of the truck and just like kind of talk a little bit more about coffee and stuff and i got an ube iced latte and it was so good honestly probably one of the best coffees i had that whole trip and the last coffee shop that we went to which was also so pretty was wishing well coffee that one was in the hanalei area and it was so fun so we like walked from like the little shopping center down the street to it and they have like all their ice drinks came in like a little mason jar with their logo if you're like a local you could like just return the mason jar after you're done drinking it and like they could reuse it or you could take it home as a souvenir so of course for our first time we did because the mason jars are so cute and i'm so excited to make like my ice drinks in it and i just felt like nice going to more like local places we did a lot of touristy stuff like a luau we did a sunset cruise which was super fun Definitely recommend all those things when you go, but being able to go into like the local coffee shops, boutiques were like so much more fun and like talk with like the owners and stuff. That's what I really enjoyed. And then of course, beach hopping. Definitely some of my recommendations. All the food that we had there was so good. I would love to go like see all of the islands, like each one individually give it all a week and then whenever in the future i want to go back to hawaii i know which ones are like our favorites to go to besides hawaii and dreaming about being on the beach i am trying to get really into the fall mood like i said and to kick off the fall season tina and i are going to one of my favorite small towns in southern california which is julian it is literally our version of like the gilmore girls town they have like pumpkin patches apple orchard orchards orchards high places like a cute little main street and tina's never been so i'm so excited for her to see it because she is like the embodiment of fall loves everything cozy so i know she's gonna like love this place and so we're just gonna do like a little girls like road trip it's like about two hours away i think kind of more or less from our houses so decorating for fall today kind of starting to go to pumpkin patches drink cozy drinks getting into the fall mood because i am a little thrown off by the seasons right now halloween honestly is one of my favorite seasons i don't know what it is about halloween i just loved dressing up as a kid i always dreamed about having like my own halloween parties when i'm older so not this year but hopefully next year i can have a place where i can throw a halloween party because it's just like fun and i love like halloween music and i think i just like love like old Disney, old Charlie Brown, like all that old stuff that we grew up on. It's just very nostalgic for me. I love decorating outside for Halloween. Like no matter where we are staying, I will put my decorations out. I just love like doing displays and like lights and stuff. It's just fun and I do it for Christmas too. I think it's just like another way for me to have like a creative outlet and then just being able to like see people walk by and enjoy your displays is like such a fun feeling. Halloween is a vibe for me. The funny thing is though, I don't like scary movies. Like I love all like the cute spooky stuff about Halloween, not necessarily the scary stuff. The closest amusement parks to us are like Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, um, Six Flags and Universal is a little further away. So in high school and college, I've done the like, uh, not scary farm, which is like our like, if you know like horror nights at like Six Flags or Universal, like it's the same thing. Like they have the mazes and stuff. So terrified every time I go, but it's also kind of like fun to be scared in that like sense. So we haven't gone in a couple years and part of me kind of wants to do one this year. But one of the things I learned post like graduating college, it's just really hard to get like a group of friends together, especially when you guys don't live close by anymore. A lot of my friends do live in California. We're just like in different cities and everyone's like on different schedules. Like some people are working full-time jobs. Some people are still in school and it's just hard to get everyone together now but this year i definitely want to try squeezing in more like spooky festivities tina and i love to do this during christmas and we've kind of like started doing it for halloween more because we just want to get in that like mood sooner than later it's where we go um get hot cocoa drive and sometimes walk around like neighborhoods that go full out for christmas and halloween and that is like such a vibe you're just playing like the festive music enjoying people's light displays as someone like me who just is obsessed with decorating and like having light displays it's like such inspiration for the future <laughs> so, and i just love seeing how people like different styles of like how people interpret holidays so that's kind of like my big i guess future fall plans just trying to get more in the spirit i'm gonna go clean up my room really quick before bringing in all of the halloween and like fall decorations i cannot decorate if the house is messy like i need everything in order so i know like what corners need decorations and stuff i don't know if like you guys are like you put all your, like you put away all your decor at the end of the year and then you kind of forget what you have so before going to target and doing all my errands i'm gonna just check what i have plan some stuff out clean up have some lunch i need to do some posting for peach's social stuff i need to edit a couple things for like my personal pages as well and yeah this day is already going by so fast but i am feeling pretty productive so let's clean up and start decorating
is just supposed to get hotter. But besides that, I have all the decor now. So I'm gonna open each one up because every year I organize them very nicely and then I kind of forget what I have. But let's see what box one has. Okay, so this is all my outdoor decoration stuff. Is it really a Halloween display if you don't have a styrofoam grave? Uh, I don't think so. Some of them are like really cool like this one and then some of them like you see at like stores they're like so cheesy and they have like the cheesiest sayings ever on them but I like this one. My mom started collecting like a lot of like fall and Halloween stuff like when we were little. We do have like a lot of like older pieces and I think vintage like Halloween Christmas decor is so much cuter than some of the stuff that they have even now. Just like stuff like this like it's like a little basket where you put like a flower pot in it's just like so cute and it just like brings like those pops of orange I really think is what makes fall feel really fall. We have like stuff like lights like this that go into the house and I think they're so cute. Just, like anything that's glowing like a warm color just feels so cozy to me so this is definitely going in my room this year. What I'm looking for for my room is like little ghosts, little pumpkins, stuff like this. <laughs> We're gonna decide where if I'm gonna go all out. Cause I say this every year, I'm like, you know, maybe I should just like chill, not go crazy for the holidays. Then you think about how you felt in like March and April where it was so gloomy and all you wanted were the burr months to happen already. And I'm gonna go through all these boxes and then let's start decorating my room. my errands and target run i didn't get anything too exciting i just got coffee supplies um yogurt for my overnight oats water some basic just food stuff i did look through the halloween section and it was really cute i saw some cute stuff but i was good and told myself i did not need them i'm just gonna use what i have for the rest of my fall halloween decorations this day honestly has gone by so fast and i am pretty tired now and it's so hot i've been sweating like all day and i just want fall weather to happen already we are going to be patient and know that after this next heat wave hopefully the weather comes down here it's been really fun just like talking to you guys and having more of a chill vlog i'm gonna head home finish up putting up decorations outside we're gonna have dinner i want to do a nice everything shower and pretty much that's it i just want to chill i have a lot of editing to do for like tiktok and Instagram. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and...